Okay, here's an example of my uh, privacy wall that I put up. Uh, up top, here's a screen porch. Down below is our patio. The uh, sun sets on that side, so it gets really bright over here. Uh, so I decided to build this privacy wall. I didn't do a video as I was going along. After the fact, I was like, you know, I probably should have done a video. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys, because when I did a bunch of research on this, trying to find something I could do, I put a few ideas together. Um, this is what I came up with. So... The problem I was having is I was going to attach the boards here and then on this side. Well, the issue is this isn't wood, it's concrete. I didn't want to attach it to the house, obviously. Um, this is a 6x6 six six here, so I tried to figure out a way to make it look nice. So I have a 4x4 four four here and a 4x4 four four post here. The sides are not attached. So just to show you what I did um, well first what I did wasn't really sure to put the post on the dirt or on here I wanted to keep the space over here so what I did is I dug a hole here to put the post in um, they're probably about 20 inches deep have concrete in there um, initially I was gonna have them about right here but when I started digging there the concrete foundation for this post goes all the way to probably about here so then I had to move it over so when I did that I just did the other one um, and luckily having it right on the edge there and then as we come up you can see well it's not so dark there we go oh let's do this Let's try this one. Okay, there we go. So what I did is I just used an L bracket and it actually, the post lines up right to the edge of this screen porch. So it worked out perfectly. And then it leaves a little bit of gap up top to let the light come through and the breeze and everything else. Um, so when the sun goes down, this looks awesome. The light is shining through here. It keeps the heat down. So, on the sides, this is what I was talking about. So the posts are sturdy. I have concrete at the bottom. They're attached to the top, like I was saying. So it, it doesn't move. And it's not technically a fence, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, but they're in there solid. So, on this side, just to show you on the sides, there's no boards, so it wiggles a little bit. But what I did is when I installed it, the space here is a half an inch all the way through. So some of the boards are warped a little bit, so I just put these little chunks of wood in here. You know, left them in there like that, attached everything, um, and then I let it dry like that, and then I pulled it out. And with doing that, it keeps the space as it dries pretty consistent. Um, so anyway, I'll show you on the outside in a minute, but this, like I said, is just up on there. This side over here, this is concrete, and I wanted, didn't want the gap to be so large right here. So I had the boards overlapped a bit, little bit, but you can see it's not touching the house. It's just kind of freestanding. I have the board on the other side over there as well. And you can see I left one of them up there by accident, so I got to get that. But you can see I just had them in there. That helped out big time. And when I built this, obviously I measured from here all the way up to the top, uh, did the math, and I started at the bottom. The reason I started at the bottom was to help grab I did this by myself, so I used gravity to help me stack the boards and went up to the top. So let's go around to the other side. Okay, here's the other side. You can see the boards here on the side. Let's get a little closer. Um, I used the same size boards and I just put it on here, you know, screwed them in, lined it up along the side. 
That way you don't have to be super exact on these, on the edges, and you can overlap the board a little bit. Um, I still measured it, so it was pretty consistent. You can see it's not perfect, but it's good enough. Um, and the idea of doing this was so these boards, you know, as they dry and warp, this is gonna keep it straight and consistent. So it was pretty easy to do, it wasn't too hard. The hardest thing to do was to figure out how I was gonna do the post. Yeah, we're back on the inside. Um, so I'm gonna let this dry for a while. My idea is to get this stained the same color as the rest of the boards. Um, so if you found this helpful, uh, go ahead and subscribe. You know, follow, maybe I'll do something else around here that uh, you'll find useful. Uh, I do need to no point out, I'm not a carpenter. I have really no idea what I'm doing. I just try to do things the easiest um, where they will work out. Future video what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install a bar here on the other side. I have these slabs here. I'm gonna finish these, get them all sanded, and then I'm gonna put them right here as a bar, countertop, whatever. Um, I'm gonna figure out some of these. I'm gonna take these down, you know, put new braces up top, all that good stuff. Okay, thanks for watching.